everybody welcome back in my last Dr. B video we went over this toothbrush and as I said in the end of the video if you stayed which I don't have my bottom teeth in I have my top teeth in only and it's just it's it's just it <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that I said I am going to work with this adhesive where did I put it I put it somewhere hold on I know where it is hold on a second I found it. It was in my office. That, that's all. I was going through the ingredient list. This has a lot of good ingredients in it. The problem is it's hit or miss. It's going to work for you or it's not going to work for you. I've spent the last week. I feel really weird talking about my lower teeth. I spent the last week working with this, seeing how I can get it to work for, for me. And with a lot of adhesive, denture adhesives out there, you have to do that. This applies on your denture differently than like say a fixident or a secure or something else like that because this is a moisture denture adhesive. When I first tried this I did it like the videos that I saw out there. You can go back and watch my other Dr. B video. I used a lot. I used a lot of this and what ended up happening was I ended up with a film in my mouth that just was just all day. All day it was just filming and filming and filming and I had to spit and just do. And it wasn't even saliva, it was a film that was leaking out of my denture, the denture adhesive. I'm going to compare this to a denture adhesive I just reviewed. This is the Olivafix. It is made with olive oil. Oil, 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 oil. You have the same thing. I just reviewed this Olivafix, have a video, you can go back and watch it, it's good stuff. That is very, very good stuff. The hold is different on this. Now, when I did the Dr. B adhesident, I used his product for me the same way I used the Olivafix, the same, same exact way. All right, I needed the tube because I've had this tube sitting around and I thought, let's need the tube. There's oil in here, so we're gonna need the tube. Something else, something else that I learned from this is keep the tip dry. Keep the tip very dry. And I've been doing that by, I've been doing that every time I, after I use it, I take a paper towel and wipe off the tip. Adhesives are a hit or a miss for you. The, all adhesives. There, there is no right or wrong adhesive for anybody. It's what works for you, and you may have to do a lot of trial and error, like I've been doing here on my channel. I, I've done a lot of trial and error. Okay, first of all, this is my denture box denture. This is it. This is not my immediate denture. This is my permanent denture. You can do this in your immediate denture also, but I'll tell you, my denture box denture is very small and it fits me very very well compared to my immediate denture look how big there's soft reline in there that i've been picking out but look how big compared to this one look how small if you have your immediate denture uh, let me just say this is for dry mouth too and, and it, it the the adhesive is for dry mouth here i am all over the place what do you expect any different <laughs> And it really does work for the dry mouth, and I'm going to go into that because I had a question about that. So this denture fits me very well. If your denture doesn't fit you, it's flopping around like this would be. I'm going to. I can hard. I get it in my mouth. It's huge. It doesn't stay at all. It wants to flop all around. Whereas this one, I could put it in. It's dry right now. I'm getting ready to put the adhesive on it. I can put this in and just it just sits on me. It just sits on my gums and I don't sometimes don't have to wear adhesive on that. Sometimes I choose to. It's all up to you. But anyway, if your denture is huge, whether it's your immediate denture or a denture that you've had for a long time, you need to do a soft reline. This needs to fit you good. It needs to fit you good. Soft relines, you can go to your dentist and have them do a soft or a hard reline or there's at home kits you can do yourself. If you've never, ever, ever done a soft reline in your life and you're afraid to do it, use cushion grip. Why do I say cushion grip? Because it only lasts in there three to five days. And all you have to do is soak your denture in really warm water and it'll peel right out. It'll peel right out of there. 
If you find that you like doing a soft reline and you like the feeling of a tighter denture because it's going to snug up your denture. And yes, you can use adhesive over a soft reline. I've had that question a lot. Try ProSoft. ProSoft reline is about $20 and they claim it lasts up to two years. And then, and you can add on top of that also. Um, I wouldn't leave it in there for two years. I would take it out after a few months and, and re, re put it in there. But the ProSoft is the most, is the best one that I've found for a $20 price. It's, I actually like it better than DentureFit. I've tried the DentureFit and did not like it. I, I just didn't like it. Um, okay. Here's what I did. I'm going to show you now what I did with this adhesive so it worked first of all you saw me kneading the two i needed the two and i know that tip is dry because i dried it off before i did this and have you ever heard the saying less is more less is more for me with this denture that fits really good less is more so all i did there boom that much see see that much on the other side that much when i put it here Oops, when I put a dot of it up here, it leaked, it would leak out in my mouth. It, so it didn't work. So I did not put a dot here. But what I did, let me see if I could do it here for you. Camera, camera, okay. What I did, I just spread it around. I just spread it around the best I could. And I'm going to try to do a close up so you can actually see. And then I did, I spread it around here. I just spread it the best I could. I don't know if you can see that in there. There's not very much of it in there. This applied similar, when I when I got to working with it, it was kind of similar to the Olivafix that I've been, I really like the Olivafix. It just works differently and I'm finding this does too, kind of differently in the same way. I can take my denture out after a couple hours and put this back in and it'll still hold. It, it still does that. So less is more, spread it around, clean the tip, dry it off really good, put it, put it in. And then I waited five to 10 minutes to eat or maybe 15 to eat or drink. Don't put your denture in and then think you're gonna drink coffee right away. Don't do that because you'll just ruin what you just did here. So I did that. I even took a swig of water once in a while. I would just like, even in my testing phase, I even took mm, mm, a small drink of water because I thought maybe that would help it because I think in the video that he did he used some water with it so I did that also so this is how I got the stitcher adhesive to work for me do I like it now yes I do because I took the time and I, I worked with it I took the time and used a lot then a little and then less and then from doing reviews from different denture adhesives I applied those ways to this and I got it to work I got it to work so if you have a very dry mouth I didn't drink as much water in the day I have a very dry mouth I take medication four times a day and two of them the side effects cause dry mouth that's why I lost my teeth so if if you use this throughout the day, I didn't, I didn't need to drink. My mouth wasn't so dry. It just wasn't so dry. Okay. This, this, this works. This works. So less is more. In my next Dr. B, in my next Dr. B video, you're going to see the, the clean a dent paste and my thoughts on this clean a dent paste and others because I asked around I asked around because it's like this is just me or is it is it you too so stay tuned for that but less is more dry the tip and I forgot to dry the tip probably when I put this on here I know I did because my paper towel is still there but just make sure your tip is make sure the tip is dry okay I'm sorry <laughs> I'm making myself laugh here all right. Thank God only adults have pictures. Oh, jeez.
sorry, Dr. B. Dr. B for the win. All right, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.